What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and it is not just regular WWE action figure news. It is San Diego Comic Con exclusive time because it's SDCC time. It's San Diego Comic Con 2022 time and it is coming up next week. I do believe that the event starts next Wednesday if I'm not mistaken and it's going to run all the way through the weekend and we're going to cover everything wrestling figure related right here on the channel. We may even throw in some, you know, some different small bits from outside the wrestling figure world because there are tons of lines that I love and there's lots of stuff that I enjoy and things of that nature that I may want to cover on the channel. We'll have to see about that. But it is San Diego Comic Con time and nothing is bigger than San Diego Comic Con. It's my favorite time of the year because we get all of the figure reveals. We get to see everything that we're going to be seeing for the rest of the 2022 calendar on into 2023. I have lots of expectations for SDCC this year. Very excited, very hyped. I cannot wait for it. But today we actually got revealed to us the Mattel WWE San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2022. We always do a video on this every single year where we reveal what it is, we talk about it, we give you my pros and cons of the set, we talk about anything that we got, and we break it all down, and that's what we're going to do today. Cannot wait to dive into it with you, but San Diego Comic-Con is coming soon, and we're going to do more content revolving around SDCC because it is my favorite time of the year. I cannot wait to see what we get, what updates we get. Maybe we'll get to see Elite 100 this year. We will, of course, cover everything here on the channel, so turn on your bell, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video so you will stay up to date with everything SDCC related. We'll cover it all here on the channel. But let's dive into the Mattel San Diego Comic Con exclusive for WWE this year. So I actually knew about this a few days ago, or I think it was a week ago now. I think it was almost a week ago, but I did not feel right just spoiling it and just completely shredding it out there. I wanted it to be formally announced, so I had to keep this secret in the chamber for just a few days, but at least it wasn't too, too long. But here it is, man. San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2022 from Mattel is WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack. No holds barred, Rip and Zeus, man. Look at this incredible 2-pack that we have going on right here. If you do not know what this is, man, it is basically a film that came out in 1989 called No Holds Barred, and Hulk Hogan was featured in it. And the villain of the movie was Tommy Lister Jr. or Zeus. If you guys don't know who that is, he basically was Debo on Friday. I think that's his most notorious role. One of my favorite movies ever is Friday, and that that movie, you know, I, I love Debo. I love this character that I, me and my family quote it all the time. I'm gonna have to make a Debo custom out of this figure, but you guys can see you get Zeus and you get Rip from the movie No Holds Barred in this beautiful VHS two-style packaging, and there's a lot of things to cover in this. Now, we're gonna break every single thing of it down, because I gotta, I gotta, you know, break all of it down so that we can get into it, so that we can understand what's fully taking place. So, as you guys sort through the images, you guys will see that we are getting two figures. This is an Ultimate Edition 2-pack. Now, what I'm feeling from this 2-pack is I think we're going to continue to see Ultimate Edition 2-packs. I think this is going to be their way of feeling out the market, first of all. It's going to be their way of seeing how much people are willing to pay for a 2-pack. This is an exclusive, so hopefully it wouldn't be $70. This is going to be $70. Just getting that out there. The price point is $70. If you're going to San Diego Comic-Con, you can grab them in person on Wednesday, I think, which is July 20th. And then if you want to purchase these online, they will be available online on July 22nd, which I think is the Friday of San Diego Comic-Con this year, which is next Friday. Not this coming Friday, but next Friday online, probably Mattel Creations. It's limited to two packages per person, so you can only buy two. I think that's probably the road that I'm going to be heading down. But I think this is going to be their way of introducing Ultimate Edition 2-packs to people. I think that we could see some epic Ultimate Edition 2-packs, possibly maybe one or two more revealed to us at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe a couple of renders or something like that. Maybe they are going to do some ringside exclusives or something like that of Ultimate Edition 2-packs. I don't know. I, I'm not exactly what the thinking is. I'm just giving you guys my the spitballing that's been going on in my head ever since we saw this 2-pack. We don't know everything that it's coming with, but if you sort through the images, you can kind of see exactly what we're getting, and you can see, you know, exactly what is coming to fruition with this 2-pack. You guys can see that it's kind of a repaint of the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan that is hitting very soon. I've seen people find this at Target, so be on the lookout for that. But you have Hulk Hogan in his white wrist tape and his blue gear. He's got the blue shirt. He's got the headband. It looks to be a repaint of that Ultimate Edition, which is really sick. You can do plenty of fix-ups and customs with that, even though, you know, you're only limited to two per person. But, you know, if you, if you want to fix that up and do that, you can do so without having to paint one of the other Ultimate Editions. 
but you do have great options going on here. Of course, you have your Zeus figure. You got your interchangeable head sculpt. It looks like we're going to be getting a couple head sculpts with Zeus here. One of them is like his grimacing face. Then he's got his yelling face. He also comes with a headband. He comes with his belt. He also comes with his big shoulder pads piece. He's got gauntlets on there, which I imagine are going to be removable. We're also getting a white strap championship. All the articulation in the world. You guys will also notice as we sort through the images, you have them pre-packaged facing each other in the middle of the ring and you also have like this slide over piece that looks like a VHS tape and then you have them staring at each other on the side of the box you got the back packaging you have the designers of the figures and all of their stuff kind of like the credits on a actual movie poster on the front there with no holds barred you got Hogan you got Zeus there it says no ring no ref no rules ultimate edition Hulk Hogan Zeus no holds barred on there very sweet so you get two different options you have like the slide over case look similar to what we saw with the macho man from SDCC the Slim Jim macho man from no, not too long ago and then when you open that up you will get the VHS tape with a preview window to see the figures then you can take that off and then you have of course the figures chilling right there facing each other to remove from packaging is this kind of their approach to you know non-plastic window packaging you know kind of playing around with that idea a lot of people think that this is going to become the norm and maybe this is their way of playing with that giving us that small window not giving us a ton of details with it but just giving us that slight sliver in there so you at least know what you're getting it's a nice display option I think it looks awesome. I think if you put, you know, the box with the No Holds Barred poster beside the one of the VHS with the figures in there, you could do that. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Since I am trying to complete the Ultimate Edition collection, Men on Card and Loose, I guess I'll have to be buying two of these. One to keep Men on Card or maybe just straight in the box. I don't know entirely. And then, you know, you got to crack it open and review it. I will be reviewing this set, of course. Hopefully that will be soon. But this is going up for order next week. But it's awesome. You guys know that San Diego Comic-Con the last few years from Mattel, they have had tons of crossover. We saw the Slim Jim Macho Man. We saw the Mr. T figure. We saw the G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter figure. We see this two-pack now. So I think that that's just to become the norm. You know, SDCC, they're going to do some sort of crossover. Who the hell knows what is going to be coming next for, you know, next year. Like, every year we're like, what the hell are they going to do this year? And it's like they always come out with it. The only thing that I'll say, if I had to pick any cons with it, it's just that I don't think this is a must-have for everybody, which I guess is good for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, right? You don't want it to be the most sought-after thing of all time, because then you run the risk of just craziness among the action figure market, especially in the WWE space. But but I think it's pretty cool. I think the concept is incredible. I, this is one of those things you didn't think you'd ever see. And I did do a poll on my Instagram to kind of judge, you know, everybody's thinking and everything like that. And everybody seems to think it is a big W. Over 50% have said that they think that it is a W or a big W. Not a lot of people are voting for L or big L. So they, the people are enjoying it. People are enjoying it. They're excited about it. I think it's pretty awesome. Again, man, gonna make that Debo custom. Got to. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I guess I could use one of the head sculpts for display, one of the head sculpts for that, or maybe I'll end up with three copies of this. We'll have to see about that, but I do plan on reviewing this set for you guys, checking it all out here on the channel as we dive into it, but the SDCC exclusive for 2022 for WWE is going to be the No Holds Bar Ultimate Edition 2-pack. I know people have been waiting on Ultimate Edition 2-packs for a long time now, and here they are, man, so we have to uh, make it known. I think that this San Diego Comic Con is going to be bigger than ever, man. I am just projecting that we see Elite 100, at least on render. Maybe we'll know some details about the packaging. Maybe we'll know some details about the lineup. Maybe we won't know anything but the lineup, but I expect us to know some stuff about Elite 100. I expect to possibly see a new Ultimate Edition 2-pack, not just the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And then I also expect to see the new crowdfunder. I think we're going to find out what some details about the new crowdfunder is going to be. That will also be amazing. I'm just super excited, man. I cannot describe my excitement level for this year. I am going to cover it all here on the channel. You guys know it'll probably be one big hour long review and recap where we detail every single aspect of what we got at Comic-Con. Every single thought that I think, the pros, the cons, everything in between, man, we're going to cover it here on the channel. But let me know down below, guys, do you like this as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive? Do you guys like it? Do you hate it? Where do you fall, man? Maybe you're somewhere in the middle. I, for one, do love it. I think it's awesome. You guys can let me know down below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's going to go to King Smithy. Do you have a video on how you play with your own wrestling toys? I bet everyone had different ways how to execute some cool wrestling moves with your action figure. I hope I'm not the only one. 
I like that. If you guys would like to see a video on how to play with your action figures or how to, you know, what to do with your WWE action figures once you have them in hand, let me know down in the comment section, man, because there's plenty of options. There's plenty of things that you can be doing, and I can showcase that here on the channel if you guys would like. But I'm getting out of here, man. Huge shout out to King Smithy for the comment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts on the San Diego Comic-Con 2022 exclusive down below. You cross